soon, cult mom Lori Vallow will head to court to face murder charges for the deaths of her children, JJ and Ty Lee. The brother and sister vanished in September 2019, not long after a family trip to Yellowstone. What happened next is an unbelievable story of lies, religious cults, and many mysterious deaths. As Lori prepares for her double murder trial in Idaho, let's revisit everything we know so far about this shocking and disturbing case. Lori and JJ were last seen together in this haunting photograph. It was taken in the Yellowstone National Park during a vacation with their family. You can see Lori's brother, Alex Cox, was with them. He is standing behind them. It was September 8th, 2019. Ty Lee was 17 and JJ, who had autism, was seven. Now the children had recently moved with their mother to Rexburg, Idaho. She wanted to be closer to her new boyfriend, Chad Daybell. Suddenly, on September 9th, Ty Lee vanished without a trace. And two weeks later, JJ also disappeared. Now, according to friends who last saw him, Lori had complained that the little boy was acting like a zombie. It took another several weeks before the children were officially reported missing to the authorities. Whenever she was questioned about where they were, Lori, their mother, simply brushed off concerns. She would tell family and friends that they were safe and that they were happy. Around the same time as her children went missing, Lori's relationship with Chad Daybell was heating up. They had met a year earlier while recording a religious podcast together. They both believed in demons and zombies. Chad was married to his wife, Tammy, and she was raising their five children. That's when Lori, a beautiful and vivacious blonde who'd been married a few times before herself, came into his life. Their shared passion for religion quickly turned romantic. And in November 2019, just as the search for JJ and Ty Lee was getting underway, Lori and Chad flew from Idaho to Hawaii. They got married on the beach. It was a simple, small ceremony, but the couple made sure to take plenty of photographs. For a mother whose two children were missing, Lori showed no signs of concern. In fact, it looked like she didn't have a care in the world. Lori and Chad's romance was rooted in their shared belief in a bizarre religion. Lori would tell friends that she'd been chosen by God to protect people and that she believed she could create fire, weather storms and even natural disasters. It was now said that she believed she was an exalted goddess who had been chosen along with Chad to lead 144,000 people to the end of the world. Now they believed that they were gifted a unique set of abilities like teleportation and that they could pray away demons and evil spirits. They also believed in zombies. They thought those were empty bodies that were playing host to evil spirits. On more than one occasion, Lori even told her friends that her children were zombies. She thought that they needed her help. Now, as the police began looking into the disappearance of JJ and Ty Lee, other suspicious deaths started to come to light. Chad Daybell's wife, Tammy, died in October 2019, just a month before he married Laurie in that small ceremony on the beach in Hawaii. And Tammy was an otherwise healthy 49-year-old, and the medical examiner ruled that her death was a result of cardiac arrest, but no other information was given. Months beforehand, Laurie's ex-husband, JJ and Tylee's father, Charles Vallow, was shot dead during an altercation at the family home in Arizona. His killer was Laurie's brother, Alex Cox, the man who was with the children in Yellowstone before they died. Now, Alex Cox was never charged for shooting Charles, and that's largely because in December 2019, after the children vanished, and as the authorities began asking questions, Alex Cox also died in mysterious circumstances. Now, the official cause of his death was given as natural causes, but no other information is known. In January 2020, the authorities in Idaho finally launched a case against Lori. They ordered her to produce the children, which she failed to do, and she was arrested in Hawaii two weeks later. But even after being taken into custody, she refused to give up any information 
about where her children could possibly be. And in June 2020, a few months later, police conducted a search of Chad Daybell's backyard. That's when they came across the children's remains buried in shallow graves. Chad Daybell was arrested and together he and Laurie were officially charged with first degree murder. Because of COVID and some other legal complications, the case has stalled in the courts for months. And now, more than three years after this twisted story began, Laurie will finally go before a judge. She was deemed mentally fit enough to stand trial despite some attempts from her attorneys to receive some softer treatment and some bizarre courtroom behavior. Now, Laurie has already denied the killings. She claims that the children were murdered in their uncle's apartment and that she was somewhere else at the time entirely. Chad Daybell has also pleaded not guilty. And at one stage, the pair were due to stand trial together. The judge has since decided against that and they will be split up, which means there is every chance that they could turn on each other as these trials proceed. They are facing life in prison and possibly even the death penalty. Now, Laurie has already been transported to the Ada County Jailhouse in Idaho, and potential jurors have begun submitting their questionnaires. Now, jury selection officially begins on April 3rd, and part of that process will be shown to the public and the media before the trial itself gets underway. Now, the trial will be shown to the public and to the media, and from everything we have seen so far from Laurie, Chad Daybell, and their bizarre belief system, this is guaranteed to be quite a show.